The idea for finding the volume of a cylinder is very similar to finding the, the volume of a prism. If we have a cylinder, let me draw a better cylinder, and that is still a horrible cylinder. There we go. Then what we can do is we can first find the area of the base. So let's say this radius was 3 inches. Then the area of the base will be the area of this circle. So the area of the base will be pi r squared, which is pi times 9. You can plug this into your calculator and find that we get 28.274 inches squared. We could then figure out how many of these circular bases add together to create our height. So let's say our height, we'll see how many we can stack together. Slowly getting there. There we go. So we look and we notice that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is seven inches high, which means we can stack seven of these disks on top of each other. So the volume is going to be the area of the base times the height. In this case, 28.274 times seven. which gives us 197.92 inches cubed. Thus our equation is that volume is b times h or pi r squared times h where b is the area of the base, h is the height of the cylinder, and r is the radius of the base. Let's look at an example now. In example two, I want you to find the volume of the following cylinder that has a radius of nine feet and a height of six feet. Try this on your own first and then resume the video when you're ready to check your answer. Okay, if this is a radius of nine feet and a height of six feet, I know that volume is the area of the base times height, or we can say pi r squared times h, where r is nine, and the height is 6. Multiplying this all together, I find that 9 squared is 81, and pi times 81 is going to give me the area of the base, which is 254.47 feet squared. And we'll multiply this number by the height of 6 feet. So my total volume is 1,526.814 feet cubed.